Hey guys, um, CCK here. I got tagged to draw for this Draw My Life thing, so here I am. So yeah, that's me and that's my house. Just kidding, I don't live in a house. Actually, I live in the small intestine. Yep, there's the large intestine there and the rectum, and um, right in the middle of that is the small intestine. More specifically, I live in the duodenum. Some of my friends live um, in the surrounding area, but you'll meet them today. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, let me show you my room. This is the mucosa, uh, where I usually chill out. And under that is the submucosa, and below that um, is the muscularis externa. Um, but I usually don't hang out there. I just I like chilling in my room. Yeah, that's me up in my room in the coast. All right. So when I get a sense that there's some fatty acids or peptides in the stomach, I know it's time to go to work. And I do a whole bunch of things um, every day. Yeah, that's me with my briefcase. And, uh, yeah, so my first stop today is, um, in the stomach, my friend the stomach, he likes to secrete enzymes that help digest, uh, proteins and stuff like that, um, but sometimes we don't need that, so I go ahead and tell him to stop, stop doing that, and he'll stop secreting the enzymes, um, yep. Uh, so, next, um, I also act as kind of a cheerleader, you know, um, and I get the liver and the pancreas all pumped up to secrete, um, digestive enzymes for the food that's coming to the small intestine. Officially, though, it's called potentiating the liver and the pancreas, just in case any of the higher-ups ask you. Um, I also tell the gallbladder, my friends, the gallbladder and the pancreas, to release bile and pancreatic juices uh, when it's time to do that. And I accomplish this by releasing the hepatos, uh, pancreatic sphincter. And so, that yeah, there's the gallbladder and pancreas, and there's me with my green go sign, and I'm telling them that it's time. It's time for some bile juices. Hi, my name is Gastrin, and I live in the stomach. I actually live in the stomach mucosa, which also houses some of my friends like histamine. When food or a bolus enters the stomach, I tell parietal cells to secrete more hydrochloric acid. This actually happens more often when the bolus is full of proteins. I also tell the stomach to empty out some chyme, which is a soupy mixture of the bolus. Here it is, this green stuff. Here I'm drawing the large intestine, which surrounds the small intestine here in the middle. Here's a closer look at the small intestine on the right, where I stimulate contraction of the muscle, which is called epistalsis. This helps food get through. Then I relax the ileocecal valve here, which helps the food get into the large intestine. Here mass movements are made, which let the food go all the way around into the rectum and anal cavity. Hi, my name is gastric inhibitory polypeptide. I'm a hormone in the digestive system, so let me draw the digestive organs. That's the stomach, that's the pancreas, and that's the duodenum. I live in the duodenum mucosa and also in the jejunum, and that's the duodenum mucosa, and that's me chilling in the duodenum mucosa. Oh no, that's a fat chyme. It causes hyperosmolarity of glucose and duodenum. And this in turn causes me to stimulate the beta cells in the pancreas to stimulate insulin into the blood vessels. And that's the blood vessel. And that's the insulin going into the blood vessel. Oh, hi there. My name is Histamine. Did you just ask what do I do? Well, I do a lot for uh, a lot of work for your body. For example, I'm a local immune responder. I act as a neurotransmitter, but today I want to talk about something else. I work in a digestive system as well. First, let's see where I do I live. I live in the stomach, but to be exact, I live in a mucosal layer of your stomach. See? That what I'm drawing. That is serosum membrane, muscularis, sub uh, mucosa, and that's where I live, mucosa. Most of the time, I, uh, when there is no inflammation or no uh, attack to your body or allergy, I do nothing. 
I be a, uh, I uh, sleep most of the time. But when there is a food, or to be exact, a bolus comes to your stomach, the uh, stomach wakes me up and tells me to do something. In other words, activates me. When I wake up, I go to the gastric glands, which is a lot of them in your stomach. The gastric gland has a lot of cells in it, like parietal cells, some mucus neck cells, uh, perif chief cells and endo, uh, enteroendocrinic cells. Each one of them produce something. But for this digestion to happen, I need to activate a specific cell, which call parietal cell. Yeah, that green one is a parietal cell. Let's see how the parietal cell works. Parietal cell, you know that in your body there is a lot of water and carbon dioxide. Parietal cell, take that carbon dioxide and the water and react them and make the bicarbonic acid and they, they became uh, bicarbonate and hydrogen. The bicarbonate, the hydrogen just goes straight through to the lumen of your stomach. But bicarbonate leaves the stomach out, leaves the cell and is a tra and in the result, chloride, chloride ion gets into the stomach and diffused through the parietal cell. They react together based on the stomach acid, they combine and produce the hydrochloric acid. Then hydrochloric acid just attacks that bullet. Hey guys, my name is VIP, and yes, I'm a very important peptide, but my real name is a phasoactive intestinal peptide. My main deal is absorption, and I live in the enteric neurons around places like small intestine, pancreas, and stomach. So this is kind of what it looks like in the intestinal cells, and uh, yep, and let's get a little close up of that. Um, so at the brush border, we've got some enteric neurons that will help me release me to go do my work. Um, you can see me there; it's really tiny, but I'm moving into the cell. That's me, VIP. Uh, so from there, I go and tell the intestinal capillaries to dilate. There's me again. I'm telling that's the intestinal villi, and um, we've got some blood vessels, and they expand. Um, and they dilate so that more nutrients can move in and be absorbed. Uh, I also signal for more bicarbonate buffer to be released um, because the stuff coming out of the stomach is really acidic. Um, but they've got a charge that balances that hydrochloric gas. Um, finally, I tell that smooth muscle that's moving all the food around. Uh, to relax, you know, um, so that, you know, food can kind of take some time to absorb in the stomach, or in the intestine, rather, um, then we get more nutrients flowing in. Alright, so basically that's what I do in the intestine. I also work in, uh, the pancreas and the stomach, so there's pancreas and stomach. And, um, I, uh, yeah, stomach likes to secrete enzymes, but I tell him when, it, when it's time to stop, I kind of... Yeah. And um, I give uh, bicarbonate the green light when it's okay for him to release some, some pancreatic enzymes and bicarbonate. Oh my gosh, guys. You are going to love what I have to say to you. <laughs> I am somatostatin hormone, but my friends for sure call me Soma. <laughs> um, I have two houses. My summer house is in the stomach, but I also stay in small intestine mucosa layer. So this is my summer house. It's so warm and cozy and I love it. And that's the small intestine, my the other house. Let me show you the mucosa layer that I live. Uh, you know that stomach has a different layer or even the small person. But this is the outer layer, it's out of the town, Serosa. Then we have muscularis. The, there is another area called submucosa and that is where I live, mucosa. <laughs> now, let me tell you. When an intruder comes into my summer house, oh god, I'm so scared. Um, I kind of go like, yeah, I'm gonna go ballistic. Um, uh, when an intruder comes into my summer house, I kind of get aggravated, or in my small intestine home, my security system alerts me. My fight or flight response kind of kicks in, and god knows what I can do. And, um, uh, did you just ask what do I do? Well, I'm going to tell you. 
Uh, kind of good ballistic. I do kind of tons of stuff. I like, I gonna do the inhibition of the stomach secretion, pancreatic secretion, the liver, and also the bile secretion. I kind of just go and stop this. And also, a Hello everyone, my name is Sakrian, and my home is near the stomach in a part of the intestine called the duodenal mucosa. When acidic chyme from the stomach enters the duodenum, I get activated and go on to tell the stomach, pancreas, and liver what to do. Before I get there, the stomach is usually making gastric juices and moving around to break down the food, but I tell him to stop because there's stuff in the intestines now. To avoid a backup in the intestines, I need to stop food from the stomach from moving on. Then I tell the pancreas to make more pancreatic juice, which contains bicarbonate ions. These ions protect the sensitive lining of the intestines by neutralizing the acidic chyme. I also tell CCK to get ready to release bile. Unlike his alarm clock, that sleepyhead. Finally, I tell the liver to make more bile. The excess is usually stored in the gallbladder, which CCK will release in a minute. Hey guys, Serotonin here. Just wanted to tell you about myself. I'm one of the hormones of the digestive system. And um, in case you didn't know, 90% of me is in the alimentary canal. That's where I like to hang out. It's a chill place. Um, I affect a lot of changes in the body, such as your emotions, um, you're happy or you're sad, uh, when you get hungry, when you get the nom noms, and um, also when you get exhausted or tiredness. Um, and lastly, I also affect learning and memory. Alright, so it looks like we've got some cheese that's in the stomach, and as serotonin, it is my job to send the signal for the stomach muscle to begin contracting. And that's pretty much what I do. Let's have fun at meeting the other hormones of the digestive system. Hey everyone, my name is Motilin, and I live in the small intestine, uh, more specifically in the duodenum, and to be even more specific, I live in this place called the Crips. Since they're kind of scary sounding, the other hormones don't really like to associate with me very often, and sometimes not at all. However, there is one person I, I'm really friendly with, and that's my girl Pepsin. When she and I get together, we tend to multiply into more pepsins. We make pepsin babies! There we go, all our little pepsin children. We're so proud of them. And uh, I, have a, I have a rep around here. A nickname that they have for me is the housekeeper of the gut. And this is because I help improve peristalsis and clear the gut so that I can prepare for the next meal. On the side, I also have this other job where I accelerate the emptying of gastrin on days when my levels are very high. Alright, so I'm Motilin, and it was nice showing you around. I will see you. Bye!